Keith, welcome back. Thank what you. say you? Do you are you making some bold predictions for next year? Well, of course we are, but there's a big caveat. Opinions are like belly buttons. Everybody has one. I think the thing that investors need to concentrate on now is are they playing for the short term or are they playing for the long term? Because if you're playing for tomorrow, a week out, 12 months out, your 50-50 probability of getting it right with timing, intensity, and even the stock. But if you start looking three, five, 10 years out, now you're talking 70, 80, 90% probability that the markets close higher. So you want to go with what's probable, not what's possible. That's the great companies, the best in class names. That's where we're concentrating. Okay. So where is that? Well, for example, right now you're seeing tech is being priced like it's going out of business. Two companies in particular, AMD and Intel, are being priced like they're going to vanish from the face of the earth. Yet, at the same time, very coincidentally, we live at a time where most of the data we've been ever created in the history of humanity needs chips to run. So I would submit that those companies are great opportunities, perhaps entries like we haven't seen in a decade or more. But you got to be patient. You got to understand that volatility is your traveling companion, not a problem. Why are you so convinced that the worst may be over for those semiconductor and chip makers? Well, I'm not convinced the worst is over. You know, selling is absolutely possible. Holiday weeks in particular, we got a glimpse of that yesterday. I personally happen to think that we're going to see a weaker market, generally speaking, into the first half of next year, at which point the Fed is going to have to acknowledge the inevitable that it's been as wrong as the day's been long about transitory labor and rates and ultimately pivot or even tap on the brakes. So I want to get ahead of that because, historically speaking, Prices tend to stabilize two to three quarters before the economic data does. You know, I feel like the Fed, and forgive me for this, what is it, metaphor analogy, I can never figure it out, is like a cheating ref, right? I mean, like the cheating yeah. ref can alter the outcome of the game. The Federal Reserve can make its terrible predictions. Last year, they didn't even see interest rates now at more than 1%. That was a year ago. They were below 1%. We're now at 5%. But here's the thing. The Federal Reserve is the ref. They make the rules. They can change the outcome regardless of what their prediction is. Absolutely valid and super intelligent point, to which Thank I you. would push back respectfully that if you don't like the game, change the game. Pick the battles that Wall Street has no interest in fighting. When in doubt, zoom out. Look for the CEOs and companies that are still putting numbers up because of longer-term structural changes impacting the world that we live in. Whether the Fed acts today or tomorrow is almost moot if you start looking at the history of how markets work. There are buyers and sellers. Capital wants to grow. As long as that argument is true, growth may slow, but it will never, ever in the history of the world stop.